papers for you to sign. Hi, Kendall. Hi. Did I walk in on something? Quinley's out for blood. Mine. Your sister's a little upset. Yeah, she uh, she's filed a civil suit against me. She thinks I attacked her. Did you? Of course not. Kendall hit Greenlee in the eye with a tennis ball. Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah, in a, in a tennis court. I wasn't trying to blind her, but she she had been goading me and taunting me. Well, work it out. Yeah, huh? yeah. Okay. You know what, Greenlee? She she. She was saying all of these stupid things at the club, and she, she was laughing and giggling, acting like an idiot, saying what a great, fun night she had, claiming that she slept with someone I care about. Oh, man. What? What's your problem? I didn't think Greenlee was going to try to use it. <laughs> you? You're the one Greenlee slept with? So you're meeting an old friend from the force. Relax, we're not talking about the chief's job. But he's still a cop. Ex-cop, he's retired. He's a professor now. Teaches law enforcement over at PBU. He might be able to get me on staff over there. Oh, that sounds great. Mm. <laughs> sure it does. It. <laughs> Look, no promises, but you never know, right? And right now I'm late. I gotta go. See ya. What do we have? White male, mid-30s, LOC. It's a bruising to his face, but his pulse is strong. This is Richie Novak. I saw him on the street. He was having convulsions, and he passed out. You get him into this cubicle. He's a former patient, follow-up care after bone marrow transplant. Listen, I want you to dig up his old charts and draw bloods for an admissions panel. What's wrong with him? And do a neuro check. And I also want you to check the labs to rule out any drugs. Uh, oh. All right, all right. But hold still. Where am I? Where am no. I? Richie, it's Dr. Hubbard. You're in the hospital. Lie, lie your head. Lie your... No, this guy tried to poison me. This guy tried to poison me. It's... Listen, I need you to calm down. No, no. He's stuck me with some drug and he says he's going to end it. We... I need you to calm down. <laughs> Just help me here, please. I'm trying to help you. Is he for real? You tried to poison him? No. What's going on? I was at a street light. I saw Richie, who's having a seizure. He's a liar. No, he must have thought he was dying because he started confessing to me like I was a priest or He's something. He's a liar. He even, he even admitted the whole reason why he had came up with that whole sick plan to begin with, babe. Please help me. He, Richie drew no. JR and he put him in bed with a hooker. Yeah, yeah, he, he thought that that would win me over. I'm dying here, babe. Yes, he thought that he could steal me, but he did steal something from me. Um, what? My bone marrow. My brother. Greenlee seduced my brother. Kendall, that's not how it happened. Okay, this this is what she meant by keeping her romp in the family. But can you believe her? You knew. Yeah. Well, why didn't you tell Kendall, me? Kendall, just relax. No, right? no, no. Wait a minute. This guy answer me. I didn't tell you. There's none of your business. Josh is my brother. Josh is a very attractive grown man. Josh is right here, and he's telling you both to drop it. Okay, listen. Greenlee used you to get to me. I assumed she used me to get back at Aiden. Yes, I know how they broke up. Great. Great. Well, who else did Greenlee tell about me and Aiden? Our friends, our clients, the whole freaking world? That's what Greenlee does. She acts out, and then she cools off, and she stops. No, Zach, she's just getting started. Oh, Zach's right. She just needs a little time. She doesn't want time. She wants revenge. And he hates me. She does not hate you. She practically bit my head off when I backed you going to the doctor in Because she's just been a little bit stressed lately, I that's should have all. stayed out of it. Why? You just expressed your opinion. Yeah, I've been doing too much of that lately. Case in point. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, you gave Kendall a hard time, and she aced your face. Yeah, and I'm suing her for personal injury. <laughs> yeah. Tell me that you're just kidding. Nope. I got a lawyer and everything. She's probably blowing a gasket right now like she did on the tennis courts when I told her I slept with someone that was close to her, but I wouldn't tell her who. This is all about revenge, all right? Revenge about what she did with Aiden. Kendall had sex with someone off limits. And you made her think that you did the same thing. 
with Zach. Why shouldn't I? Because it wasn't with Zach. Small technicality. I mean, does it feel good you torturing her like this? Because you weren't very proud of it at Fusion. Okay, okay, it's not a put a smile on my face, gloat worthy revenge. Actually, to be totally honest, it it reminds me when I came back to town. I was on a rampage, pulling any dirty trick I could to keep you from marrying Annie. I heard about that. And the more damage I did, the worse I felt. But I couldn't stop. Why not? I loved you, Ryan, and I wanted you back. Everything's ready. You said you'd be home soon, Ryan. Where are you? Pass me milk. The white stuff right there. Can we talk about what you just said, please? That I tried to wreck your marriage to Annie because I wanted you back. Old news. Maybe it's not such old news. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. I'm trying to get to a point here. You want to screw with my life because you wanted me back, and maybe you're just doing the same thing, okay? I'm screwing with Kendall's life because I want her friendship. You inhaled way too much exhaust. Do you actually think that I'll forgive Kendall? Let me spell it out for you so there's no confusion. Never. Amy will never let this go. I'll talk to her and make her drop the suit. I can work on her too. Right. Have my brother and my husband tell Greenlee to have pity on me. You cool off, she'll cool off, and we'll deal with it. Cool off? While she plays her mind games? No, Greenlee, she did this on purpose. She wanted to get me mad, and so I would lash out and be all freaked. Well, looks like it worked. You're right. You're right. I'm, I'm making too much of this. The lawsuit and and you and Greenlee. It just, it, it, you know, it took me by surprise. But I'm fine now. I really am. And I'm telling you, it was a one-time thing. That's okay, Josh. I mean, like Zach said, you're a big boy. You can sleep with whoever you want. Okay, so you slept with Greenlee. Big deal. I'm actually relieved it was you. Oh, that's Ian, I should... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 I speak infant, and I distinctly heard him ask for his Uncle Josh. I know what you're thinking. There it is. Hairline fracture on the radius. That... That tiny little line is why my wrist feels like it's on fire. And this is another recent break. You didn't get any treatment, did you? Can we just move this along? I need to immobilize your wrist. I have to put you in a soft cast. No. That's not going to happen. I've got to go to work. It's not going to heal otherwise. Look, it's my wrist, it's my choice, and I choose no cast. Sorry, just give me some painkillers or something. I can't do that. It's obvious that I have broken bones. You have pictures of it. I'm not trying to score meds. Yes, and if you continue to neglect those broken bones, you're going to end up with chronic pains, serious arthritis, and maybe even some deformation. You need the cast. Fine. Just stop talking. Randy, if someone has hurt you, I can help. I don't want your help. I want you to do what you have to do so that I can get the hell out of here. You know, if what Novak says is true, JR is facing some serious charges. Look, Richie's the one who needs to go to jail. So you buy JR's story. That Richie gave him a dying man's confession. It, it all makes sense now. Why JR got so sick and, and how he got the hepatitis. I mean, who knows where Richie took JR and, and what kind of doctor would steal bone marrow? A bad one. It's why JR got so sick. We all could have gotten sick, Jesse, or worse, even my little boy. Babe, calm down, all right? Just calm down. JR's story. Any witnesses to back it up? Yeah, Trina, that hooker that Richie hired. She knew all about the kidnapping, but she didn't say one word about the bone marrow. 